EOM stands for the Essentials of Manufacturing. The scope of it is really to give you um, an introduction to all different sorts of moving pieces and parts that go into manufacturing. You work with a cohort of people who are in a similar situation as you and you work about every quarter on a project together. A lot of exposure to the plant floor, a lot of exposure to the different people in different higher levels that are making decisions every day. My first five to six months was really learning the ropes and traveling to a lot of those different sites, getting to know who's at which site, who does what, getting to know the people and letting them get to know me a little bit too. When COVID hit, we uh, were very fortunate that uh, our program pivoted. The effects of the pandemic really had an impact mainly on our travel, and that's where uh, a lot of the value of the program came into play. I guess I'll stop because the lawnmower is coming. I feel like they just mowed yesterday. Our first kind of test your virtual project was helping another plant um, that wanted to make their own um, face masks. We were very fortunate that um, people within the ELM group saw that this was going to be something that was going to affect a lot of people for an extended time. We were also very fortunate that we had a very passionate uh, group of people within our site and within the company at large uh, that wanted to help. I was using my 3D printer at home while I was working from home to print some face shield bands and we delivered them to a local hospital. My mom is a nurse at Nazareth Hospital in Philadelphia. Um, I think we made a total of about 200 face shields. Uh, some went to our workers here on site that couldn't work six feet away. I was able to donate some to my mom's hospital and then we also donated some to schools. One of our projects was actually designing and coding uh, a mobile app for one of the sites that we were working with. Which was really nice because when you're creating an app, it kind of lends itself to be virtual or to be very computer-based. We explored the technology, learned how to use it, and then deployed a digital solution all in two weeks, which was really, really amazing. It was phenomenal how quickly the team went from what's power apps to here's your finished product and also here's a hit list of all the items you need to uh, you know, complete to, to do this on your own and, and can continue growing it. The team really just amazed me with what they were able to do. I mean, this was a two week project. They really went up against the limits of the software itself um, to provide us not only a the solution that we're looking for, but I think in some ways even better. Learning the tools was great. We're all uh, engineers at heart and we all love to uh, really dive deep into some of the details. So we really explored it. Overall, it went really smoothly and I think the NS team was really happy with uh, the end product. Working in the new normal is, it's, it's different, but I think the EOM program has taken it and run with it, fortunately. I think urgency is one of the biggest drivers of change. And with this new urgency of not being able to travel, not being able to communicate as effectively, it's allowed us to bring in a lot of new digital tools. I think one of the best things I've gotten from the program is all the different people I've met and the other EOMs in my cohort. It's definitely made connections that I think will last my entire career. For right now, the future is still uncertain, you know, going through the pandemic, but through EOM, you still get the exposure, the opportunities to learn that I expected coming into the program. If you're willing to put in the work um, and really willing to, to push the boundaries, then it's a fantastic program to be in. You know, these individuals are selected for, for this program, and they're selected because the potential is observed. It's really been one of the best decisions of, of my life so far coming into St. Cobain as, as an EOM.